Hello everyone, welcome to Skyrocom. My name is Dr. Divan, and the topic of the lecture today is interstitial lung disease. We're going to talk about which diseases come under the heading of interstitial lung disease, and then we're going to talk about all of them one by one. That what's uh, the cause of them diseases happening? What are the morphological uh, appearings of them diseases? And how do we uh, define what's the pathophysiology of it? First of all, we're going to talk about hypersensitivity pneumonitis. We're going to talk about to what antigens uh, the patients are mostly hypersensitized towards. How do we tackle it? What's the pathophysiology of it? And how do we see it on a slide? Next on, we have sarcoidosis, which is a multi-organ disease. And we're going to talk about how it's going to affect the lungs here. Uh, why it's called non-caseating granulomatous disease how does the granuloma actually form and uh, what will be seen if we take a morphological slide of it if we see it on a pathological slide what will be seen we're going to talk next time we're going to talk about uveal interstitial pneumonia we're going to talk about what are the causes of it or what do we see if we go for the pathological slide and what is the pathophysiology of it next time we're going to talk about non-specific interstitial pneumonia that which uh, of the following uh, organisms cause a non-specific interstitial pneumonia what's the basic cause of it how do we tackle it if we even don't know what's the cause of this, this kind of pneumonia we're going to narrow it down so that you can understand it better next time we're going to talk about desquamative interstitial pneumonia that why it's called desquamative interstitial pneumonia if it's just another interstitial pneumonia what's the characteristic finding of it Next time we have respiratory bronchiolitis, we're going to talk about which viruses are going to cause respiratory bronchiolitis, how do we tackle it, and uh, what structures are destroyed in respiratory bronchiolitis. Next time we have cryptogenic organizing pneumonia, all those pneumonias which does not resolve. That's what it means with cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. We're going to talk about what's the fate of it, how do we see it on a slide, and uh, what to do with it what to expect out of it next on we have acute interstitial pneumonia we're going to talk about the causative organisms we're going to talk about the pathophysiology of it next on we have lymphoid interstitial pneumonia we're going to talk about why it's called lymphoid interstitial pneumonia is it a proliferative disease or not is it a proliferation of uh, normal cells or not and then we're going to talk about pathophysiology of it and how do we see it on a slide Next time we have Langerhans cell histocytosis. We're going to talk about why it's called Langerhans cell histocytosis and if uh, collapsed lung is going to happen inside of it, what will be the major cause of that? Next time we have lymphangioleomyomatosis. We're going to talk about what kind of disease is this and which structures are involved and how does the lung collapse in this kind of pathology. For watching the complete video, please subscribe to skyrocom. It also contains a variety and a range of other lectures too. Thank you for watching.